some elements explode in the hizzy house. <laughs> what is in those test tubes? Oh, just some radioactive radium I discovered in 1898. I mixed some phosphor with them and now they glow. Isn't that incredibly dangerous? Oh, no more dangerous than a lump of radium on its own. Isn't radium on its own? Incredibly dangerous. Who's ready to see some explosion? Make some noise! Yes. Look, I don't want to be a spoil sport, but speaking for the exposed brain contingent, uh, let's go easy on the explosions. Hmm? Right here, right now, I am going to show you something that nobody in this audience will ever forget. Yeah, just like the noble elephant, they never forget. Hang on, it's just a load of sand. <sighs> no, fool. These flares are the chemical reaction. They contain different metallic elements. When I light them, the metal particles will oxidize and omit light. Different colors will show depending on which metallic element I use. You know a lot about elements, but I thought you were more of an expert in radiation. Well, when you have won a Nobel Prize for both chemistry and physics, uh, this stuff is not so hard to wrap your head around. What are you waiting for? Let's dim the lights and see some fire. <laughs> now for our first chemical reaction, strontium. Wow, the reaction makes the color red. Yes, the strontium <laughs> has made it red. I love red. Let's have a potassium one. Oh. The potassium has made it go lilac. A very relaxing color. Now one containing sodium. Yellow! <laughs> Mark, it's oh. yellow! Wow! Yes! Sir. Oh. Now we have some copper. Wow! Oh. Scary! <laughs> that is blue. <laughs> awesome! They were all different colors. Yeah. Yes, the copper turned it blue. Woo -hoo. Yeah, don't yeah. get carried away, Mark. Prepare yourself for an insane look at what they don't tell you in the science books. From inner space to the universe, we're on the case to face the worst. It's icky and it's whiffy and it's yucky and it's squishy, but we love it.